I broke my board with my fat ass last week. So I'm gonna set up my new polar deck and I'm gonna try and show you guys how to do a couple designs for your grip tape, all right? The board was already cracked, so don't come at me with like, oh my gosh, Jack, why would you like ruin a perfectly nice board? This is the video where I cracked it on. But yeah, easiest way to get grip tape designs is to probably just buy grip tape with a design already on that, okay? Like that one. So I'm pretty sad this one's already like, you know, dead. I didn't have this board for too long. But yeah, I'm gonna try and design my own one and we'll see how this goes. But first I've got to grip up this polar deck over here. So I'm just gonna pre the fancy editing and the, you know, montage because you know the vibes. <laughs> Let's get it deep. So that was probably the quickest grip job you've ever seen in your whole entire life. So like and subscribe for the fancy editing because, you know, that was pretty cool. I mean, I'm a fucking genius. I'm a genius with the edits, bro. Do you see that? That was all on my brain, bro. I thought of that. I thought of that transition. Hey, Sam Calder, my dog, you think you got edits and stuff, bro? You haven't seen Dunko. Let's get it. But what I'm doing now is I'm getting some designs that I like and I'm just going to trace them into this little square box on the paper. And then, yeah, I'm going to put that paper on the skateboard and then try and trace it off the paper onto the skateboard grip tape. And we're going to see how this goes. what I have at the moment. I'm just gonna go over it, make sure all the lines are nice and dark so I can see what the hell's going on. And then I'll fill in the background and all the empty spaces and then we're putting it on this grip tape, my dog. Stay tuned. <laughs> Right, so it's looking pretty cool on paper. Um, I'm gonna try and put it on my grip tape now and we're gonna see how this goes. It might completely get fucked up, but we'll see what happens. Cool, so I'm just gonna stick this paper down on the grip tape, keep it there nice and placed. So when I get to tracing, it stays where it needs to be. You get me? Let's do this thing. Cool, so for the tracing, I'm just gonna be using this sharp end of a nail and I'm just gonna dig into the paper with the sharp bit. It should work. It's not looking too bad. I mean, little mess up over here with this guy. I was rushing him a bit, but I'm gonna go over freehand, fix him up, he'll look cool. So I've gone over it, traced it, made it dark and all. Got those acrylic paint markers. So now I'm just gonna go over the patterns with a white shade and depending on how good it's looking, we will fill it in with some color and see how that goes. So it's looking pretty good now. If it was a bigger picture, it would be a lot easier with these markers because these things are like the tips of them are really thick. I reckon I'm gonna try and add some color to it as well. So we'll see how this goes. It's a bit messed up, we'll fix that up. But damn, son. I think we did a good job there. In the beginning, it was looking trash with just the, the scratch marks, but I'm glad I bought these markers behind me over here because these things really work. So I'm super proud of that one. Looks friggin' chic, my dogs. 
So yeah, there it is, a cool little way to spice up your grip tape and, you know, just make it look cooler. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe and also appreciate the fact that I'm out here making my own beats for my YouTube videos so I don't get no goddamn copyright strikes. The beat playing right now is, you know, made by me, so, you know, beat maker, producer, surfer, skater, arty, farty boy over here. Gotta like and subscribe, my dudes. I'm out here doing all the grinds. Fucking subscribe. Yeah, appreciate the grind and like and subscribe for more videos. And we'll see you in the next one, my dudes. Check the light out.